is Grace. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Wherever you go, I Stones, slings, and giant things. David and Goliath. Let's read. Israel's first king was named Saul. King Saul did not obey God. So God said to Samuel, the prophet, yesterday in yesterday's story we have read about Samuel, right? The priest, a prophet. Find a name, a find a man named Jesse. One of his sons will be the new king. So Israel's first king was named Saul, but Saul didn't obey God. So God said to Saul that and Samuel to find a man named Jesse. One of his sons will be the new king. Samuel found Jesse in Bethlehem. He looked at seven of Jesse's son. They looked very handsome and strong. Not them, God said. I don't care about looks. I care about what is in their person's heart. So Samuel found Jesse in Bethlehem. And he looked at the seven sons. And all seven sons looked very handsome and strong. But God said, not them. I don't care about looks. I care about what's in the person's heart. Jesse sent for his youngest son, David, who was tending sheep in the field. Samuel saw him and God said, he's the one. So David was anointed the new king. So Jesse sent for his youngest son, David. And he didn't look strong. He was tending a ship in the field. And Samuel saw him and God said, he's the one. David was anointed to be the king. Question. God cares more about the person's looks than what is in their heart. False. God cares more about persons. I God <laughs> cares more about what is in their heart. <laughs> Something later, Israel thought. Uh, for the Palestine, a giant Palestine soldier called Goliath changed the Israel to send a champion to fight him, but the Israelites were too afraid. So sometime later, Israel fell the Palestine giant soldier of Palestine called Goliath. But everyone was afraid. Question, who 
did God choose to be the new king of Israel? Number one, David. Number two, Jesse's first son. Number three, Jesse. Number one was the correct answer. And when you have read Ruth's story, um, Ruth's grand grandson is David. David brought food to his brothers in the army. He heard Goliath's challenge and was not afraid. How dare he defy def God's army? Asked David. I will fight him. So David brought food for his brother in the army. But when he saw the Goliath, he said, How dare he defeat God's army? So he said, I will fight him. Surprise! King Saul offered David his armor. No, said David, God help me to kill wild beasts, and he will help me against Goliath too. David took five stones and a sling. So, surprised, King Saul offered David his armor, but it was too big, and David said, God will help me. I am a dog, Goliath's word. You sent the stick of a boy to fight me? You have a spear, said David, but I have the help of Israel's God. So Goliath said, you have sent the stick of a boy to fight me? I am a dog? But David said, you have a spear, but I have the help of the Israel God. David put a stone into the sling and threw it. This, it stuck Goliath's forehead and knocked him down. He, the Israelites defeated the Philistines with God's help. David was a hero. So David put a stone into uh into the slang and threw it. And it stuck on Goliath's forehead and knocked him down. With God's help, David was a hero. God told David to kill Goliath the giant using five stones and a sling. True. Yes, yesterday I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy the next time I'll read another good story? Then let's see you next time. Bye.